Hi everyone and welcome to this short but extremely important video. Um, this video is all about these short films um, from the coursework component. Um, the reason why I'm choosing to do this video today is one obviously is to just help um, and kind of get the ball rolling with people's analysis of the short films but also reiterate and explain that these short films that you've been asked to analyse um, are really important. Um, I've had conversations with people over the phone this week um, and some people didn't really not understand or know why they were being asked to analyse the short films. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to address that. So really this video is going to be in two sections. The first section I'm going to briefly go over the expectations for these short films and how they relate to the evaluation. And then the kind of main body of this video is going to be analysing one of the more popular film, short films that um, a lot of students pick. Um, to write about and to talk about how that short film has influenced their um, their own production. Um, so that film is the uh, that short film is the Gunfighter. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about three different areas for analysis. Um, I'm going to talk about narrative structure. I'm going to talk about film form, and I'm going to talk about themes slash generic conventions. Um, these videos are designed to be a lot shorter than the previous ones of 12 to 13 minutes. So I'm only going to kind of like really whisk through but again I'm picking out some key points that will be really helpful um, to help your analysis um, and to kind of think about how you were going to use some of the short films on spec to really you know get some ideas get some motivation and some inspiration so without further ado the first part of this video will address why you have to look at the short films then the main body of the video will be an analysis albeit a very short one of the gunfighter um, an extremely popular short film that's been offered by the exam board that students have used in the past so i'll get straight into the video Okay, so what is it that you need to do with these short films? What are the exam, ex uh, the exam board expectations? So if you turn to page six and seven of your coursework booklet, you'll see that Christine has put down in a list all of the short films that the exam board have prescribed. And what you'll see is that there's a run in time for each short film. This is really important and you need to note this down and make sure it's burned into your brains. But what the exam board want you to do is analyse up to at least 80 minutes worth of those short films. I think if I can kind of remember remember from last year, it's if depending on what you pick, it's approximately three to four short films, possibly four to five, depending on the length of the films that you pick. From these short films that you've picked, what you have to do is analyze them and start to think, how can I take inspiration from these short films and put it into my own script um, or short film, depending on what production option that you pick. And, um, the short films on spec that the exam board have given give you a really good overview of what makes a conventional short film. Um, there's some really inter interesting films in terms of artistic choices, aesthetic styles, films from all around the world. Um, and what your job is, is to pick up to 80 minutes worth of those short films and you'll then have a kind of bank, a sort of a, a resource of, of these short films that you've picked to go away and consider, you know, how am I going to write this this evaluation? How am I going to talk about how these short films have influenced my own production? I'll talk a little bit more about that in as this sort of summer term progresses in terms of the evaluation. But it's all about picking 80 minutes worth of the short films and considering which ones are going to influence and help me develop my own ideas the most. OK, so the gunfighter directed in 2014 um by eric kissack is a short film that we can class as a western a sort of comedic um almost kind of like adult humor style um short western um what i'll do is i'll briefly talk about narrative structure film form and then some key themes and generic conventions as well as um, upload a document alongside this video of the rest of the notes that i took when i analyzed this this morning so what i'll do is i'll jump straight into narrative structure um, and then just progress sort of through there as the video continues. So for those of you who have chosen or at least watched The Gunfighter so far, it probably comes as no surprise to you that 
what I'm going to talk about is the narrator, the um, the role of the narrator in this film, um, this short film. So what we get here, folks, if we can remember our technical terms, is a self-reflexive narrator. That's a narrator who isn't a non-diegetic sound, but an actual diegetic sound. Someone who is actively talking to the characters within the, the diegesis or the film world. So, you know, this is a extremely, you know, it's almost like an experimental or unconventional technique. Narrators are generally there to be kind of outside of the story, um, a voice that the characters in the film world can't hear, um, and to provide Im important sort of exposition to really kind of set the scene um, and, and, you know, get that narrative flown and sort of, um, you know, tell the audience exactly what they need to know. Um, in this case, the narrator, yes, we do get that exposition. We get to find out things about the characters in quite a, a comedic and humorous way. But the narrator is actually directly talking to the characters and also um, us, the audience. So again, what we get here is a self-reflexive narrator who breaks the fourth wall in that he's directly talking to us, the audience, and also the characters. And what we can say is this is really quite a, in some ways, conventional approach um, to a short film because Often short films are quite experimental, are quite art housey. They sort of, you know, they challenge mainstream conventions. They're often seen as sort of these artistic, um, you know, kind of like uh, productions. Um, so, to, in some, to some extent, quite a conventional um, approach to a short film. You know, it, it really does kind of take the audience by surprise. Um, and really, as well, to build on that, the uh, the self-reflexive narrator is really key to the development of the whole. Uh, piece of the whole sort of eight minutes of this film. Um, so to kind of consider how you might take uh, inspiration from this for your own short film, um, narration is key, even if it isn't going to be self-reflexive and talking directly to the audience or characters, that narration is key. Um, you know, you need to find a way in which to give that exposition to audiences. And one of the ways in which this can be done for narrative development, for narrative structure, is through narration. Um, so that's something to certainly consider. Um, but yeah, just to kind of repeat that, a self-reflexive self narrator, so someone who's kind of like, you know, something that's telling us this is a film, something that's not trying to hide or mask the different processes and where a film is made. This is a narrator who directly talks to the characters, um, who challenges the characters, who develops an actual dialogue with the characters. You know, so quite an experimental technique um, for narrative structure. Um, so for film form, the um, the point that I've picked out that I think is worth um, noting down, um, certainly f for basically any idea you pick um, in this, is the use of dialogue. Um, obviously, all of your short films, your productions um, will have dialogue, will have conversations between characters. Um, and I think what's really, really important about The Gunfighter is that it's such a dialogue heavy short film. You know, it's the whole thing is essentially just eight minutes of conversations between the narrators and the different characters. But it's so well done. It's so well delivered. It's so well thought out that, you know, it, that there's a real kind of like nice pace um, to the uh, to those eight minutes. So what to really take from, from The Gunfighter is, first of all, the witty and kind of humorous um, level of dialogue. Even if you're not thinking about doing a comedic film um, or a comedic idea, sort of the 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 kind of like the well placed dialogue, because um, you know conversation dialogue isn't something that's just there eight minutes, or to kind of tell someone you know an important fact or something about a character. You know it has to be well placed. It has to be well considered. And there's nothing worse than when we've got to sit and read scripts or watch short films, and and the dialogue is just kind of neglected. Um, so really what to sort of take from the gunfighter is just the well-placed witty dialogue um, and also the fact that it's believable. Um, you know, there's quite a bit of slang, quite a little bit, a bit of co uh, colloquial language in this. And again, it creates that believable sort of Western aesthetic. So again, to kind of think about how you might draw inspiration from that. Um, if you're setting something, um, I don't know, in in Newcastle or, or, or somewhere and you're using, you know, characters who are of similar age, you know, you want to be kind of making sure that um, you're using dialogue that is relevant to those characters, you know, think how would they actually deliver these lines in real life, how would they say them. Um, so really the sort of effective uses of dialogue is really key and is something that you do get graded on. Um, so that's something I would certainly consider. Um, going forward is how can I be kind of like witty, how can I be, be clever, how can I be 
you know, kind of like engaging with my dialogue. Um, and is it believable and is it relevant to the, the mise-en-scene, to the digesis of the film world? And the gunfighter in this instance is really good for kind of capturing that Western aesthetic, that sort of the cowboy type style film, but also it's witty, it's comedic, and it keeps you engaged for those eight minutes. So finally, and perhaps one of the most important um, areas I'm going to briefly discuss is generic conventions. If we remember that generic conventions are things that we'd expect to see in a film. Um, so, you know, we have generic conventions of horror films, sci-fi films, in this instance, Western, um, Western slash cowboy films. Um, it's really important when we look and mark your work that we've, we can identify what genre you've gone for. Um, and in order to get that, to get to that level, you'll need to go away, do your, your research, have a look at different generic conventions of your chosen genre. In this instance, we can see that The Gunfighter is an excellent example of a cowboy film. It includes all the generic conventions that you'd expect to see, such as the saloon, um, the costumes. We've got some stock characters there. So we've got the, um, you know, the bounty hunters, the fact that they're very trigger happy. Um, we can say perhaps that the, the the lady in the film is quite representative of the time in terms of gender politics, quite backwards in uh, gender representation. Um, the props, we've got the guns. Um, and what we've got is a real effort on the part of the director create, to create this believable and almost kind of like acceptable Western aesthetic. Um, so really to kind of build on that from the gunfighter, what you need to be able to do is go away and really think about your genre. If you're writing a script, how is it in your scene description that you're going to tell myself or Christine that your genre is a horror genre um, or is a is a Western genre or a sci-fi genre? You've got to be really clever, really kind of like creative and articulate with how you want to develop and, desc and to, um, describe your scenes. And it's the same if you're going to go down the visual approach with the short film production idea. You've got to be able to set the scene. You've got to include those generic conventions, things you would expect to see. So that's really, really important generic conventions okay um so just very very briefly to conclude what i've done is i've briefly spoke um about the gunfighter a really popular film that's um, often drawn upon and used by students and um, for evaluations and for influence that's kind of the area in which you need to be going with this um, what stands out, how can you apply it to your short film. And the more notes you've got, the better for when we move on to the evaluation stage, um, because at the end of the day, you do have to produce a paragraph um, or two that relates to your chosen short films to how you've basically went on, went on and used these as inspiration. Um, really, really key kind of part of the evaluation. Um, going forward, if, if uh, kind of linking this to the virtual lessons, what I'll probably do is talk a little bit more about what makes a successful short film alongside how you can go about and start to develop your ideas. Um, what we are going to do is some one to ones via Teams before we let you sign off the summer with myself and Christine and talk about your own ideas. I've done this with a few people in the one to ones, um, but expect to um, be given a time. Um, in which we can start to really kind of like hone in and discuss your own ideas um, before we let you kind of go off for summer and produce a first draft.